search for manager over there. If you have Access 2013 or if you have Access 2010, they they took it off the database tools menu. So let me show you how you would uh, get it in, in those versions. What you would do is you would add it to your quick access toolbar. So I'm going to click on the pull down and then I'll pick on, uh, I'm going to pick where it says more commands. And then we'll pick on all commands. So you get a bigger list. And then here we'll scroll down and we'll find the switchboard manager. And I'll pick on add. And you can see it's on the right hand side over here, which means it's going to be on the quick access toolbar. And I'll click on OK. And now you can see that choice is up there. So in Access 2010 or 2013, you're going to add it to the quick access toolbar like that. And then that, that icon will be available for you. In Access 2016, they put it back on the database tools menu. So this icon and this icon will really do the same thing. So I'm going to pick on the switchboard manager. Now, when you do it for the first time for each database, you'll get this uh, screen. It says the switchboard manager was unable to find a valid switchboard in this database. Would you like to create one? And you say yes. And then you get this window. Now, it already includes a main switchboard, so which is your main menu. So you're just going to edit that. Now, each different choice on the switchboard will be uh, a new choice on this screen. So I'll pick on new, and now we're on this window. So I'm going to say uh, add a new order for the text. That'll what's that'll be what's uh, going to appear on the menu. Then notice how the switchboard can either go to another switchboard, uh, like a sub switchboard. Maybe you have a, a separate switchboard for your reports, for example. So you can make it run a different switchboard. You can make it um, open up a form in add mode, which means it's going to uh, go to that form and add a new record. We can say open a form in edit mode, which is going to go to that form and put you on the first record. And then you can uh, you know go through all the different records from there. You can uh, run a report. You can go into design mode, maybe for a form or a report. You can exit the application. You can run a macro and you can also run the code. So, uh, you know, those are the basic things that your switchboard manager can perform. In this case, I'm going to say open form in add mode. And for the form name, I'll pick on orders. And we'll click on OK. And notice how that's the first choice in what's going to be our menu. So let's add another new choice. I'll pick on new. I'm going to click on, uh, I'm going to, for the text, I'll type in look up existing orders and I'm going to pick on the pull down and we'll say open form in edit mode which means it's going to go to that form and put you on the first record and then you can go through all the other records from there and I'll pick on uh, the orders form so we'll click on OK and that'll be the second choice on our main menu we're going to add another new choice this is going to run a report so I'll say uh, run orders report and I'm going to click in the pull down and I'll say open uh, report and then we'll pick the report name orders in this case I'll click on OK now we can also run a macro so I'm going to pick on uh, the new choice again here I have uh, print orders report and now we're just going to run a macro and then it'll show you your macro names. And I'll click on OK. Now here we'll even add the uh, exit application choice. So I'll pick on another new choice here. And I'll say exit application. And we're going to click on the pull down. And we do have one that's called exit application. And we'll click on OK. So you can see the switchboard can run many different things. Now, on each different switchboard, you can have eight choices. So if you have more than eight, then that's where you would go and make a new uh, switchboard. So let me show you that, for example. I'm going to close this window. 
Now on this screen, I'll make a new switchboard. So maybe I'm anticipating them. I'm going to have a lot of reports. So I'll pick on new here and I'll call this switchboard uh, reports menu. And I'll click on OK. Notice how I have a second switchboard. So I'll pick on the reports menu and I'll pick on edit there. And here I'm just going to say um, a new choice and I'll say return to mean. Now eventually I'll have some more reports there and there will just be additional choices. But in this case I'm just going to actually make that go to a switchboard and it's going to return back to the main switchboard. So I'll click on OK. And I'll pick on Close for the Reports menu. Now I'll go back to the main switchboard and I'll pick on New there. And here we'll add a choice. I mean, for the main switchboard, I'll pick on Edit is what I meant to say. And here we'll add a choice to go to the uh, Reports menu. So I'll say uh, Reports menu. Here I'm just going to say go to the switchboard that's called reports and I'll click on OK. Now notice how that put that choice at the bottom. I'd like to move that up one so I'm going to pick that choice and notice how you have buttons over here that say move up or move down. So I'll pick on move up. So that's how you can rearrange the choices. I'm going to go ahead and click on close here and I'll pick on close again. The switchboard is a form. Now there's also a table that's called the switchboard items. I'm going to double click on that for a second. Unless you really know your stuff with Access, I probably would leave that table alone. The switchboard manager is going to change that. But um, you know, you could modify that yourself, but you really wanted to make sure you know what you're doing with Access uh, uh, before you modify that. So I want to go ahead and close that window. Just use the switchboard manager, it'll be better. So let's go ahead and run the switchboard uh, form. And look, at it, within a, a couple of minutes, it made a very nice menu for us. So I'm going to say add a new order. Now, if you remember, we opened up the form in add mode. And you can see it added a new record to the orders form. If I open the, look up the existing orders, that'll open up the orders form. And it'll put it into uh, edit mode, which, which means we're on the first record. And from there, we can go to the different records and so on. Now, I'll say run the report. That macro choice was to open a report. You can see it just uh, runs a report. Uh, now the print report is going to run the macro. Now that macro also ran that report, but then it had a message box at the end. So it, that um, choice from the main menu was able to run a macro. Uh, now let's take a look at that reports menu. If I click on that, that will bring me to the reports sub menu. So from there, maybe I would have, you know, uh, another eight choices. And here I'll just say return to main. And you can see it goes right back to the screen here. So one uh, switchboard can have eight choices. That's why you might need uh, sub switchboards, like I talked about with the reports. And then the exit would take me out altogether. Now I want to make it so that that switchboard form is the first thing that people see when they go into this database. So what I'll do is I'll pick on the file menu and I'll pick on options, file options. These are great ways to customize your version of Access on your computer. So in this case, I'll pick on, um, in this case, we'll pick on current database, which is a uh, choice is just for this database only. And for the display form, I'll pick on the switchboard. What that means is every time we go into this database, the switchboard will be the first thing that they see. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and click on OK though. Now it says you must close and reopen the current database for this choice to take effect. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'll pick on OK and we'll say file close. Now we're in access, but there's not any specific database open at this time. So I'll pick on file and then open and go back to that same database. Notice the first thing that happens is it goes into the main switchboard. So, uh, you know, that would be the main menu to see as soon as you go into the database. Now remember I had the choice that says exit and that'll close that database and from there they can go into another access database or they can uh, do something else of course. So hopefully you got some tips on how to make your switchboard in Microsoft Access 2016.